What's going on guys? This is one of my new barbers in my shop. His name is Derek. He just started a few weeks ago. I wanted him to start off his first day with a fresh cut, so we're gonna give him a mid taper. We're gonna cut the top down a decent amount, and we'll texturize the back a little bit, give him a little bit of a mullet. So we're gonna go in here, saturate the hair, and go ahead and get it parted and start us off with some block graduation. So I'm gonna do the block graduation just like normal. As I get towards the back where the mullet is, I'm gonna start to slant it towards the back and connect that to the length in the back. So we're just using our original guide. We're gonna pull all the hair out and connect it to that guide. And you guys can see, that's gonna create some length that will blend into the back. Now that that's done, we're gonna start with the number four guard on our Babyliss Custom FX. I'm just gonna come straight up off the parietal ridge and connect to that length that we started with. Now that that's done, we'll start our taper. I'm gonna come in and I'm gonna start my bald guideline. We're gonna go straight across from the corner of the C-cup to the top of the ear, and then we'll bald everything out underneath that. All right, we'll come in with the shaver and go ahead and get this all the way down to skin, and then we'll start our fading steps going up from here. Our first step is gonna be the wall cordless senior all the way open. This is the filthy mod, so it has the Andis blade on it. We'll go about a half inch to three quarters of an inch up all the way open, and then we'll immediately work at the bottom of that line with the clipper closed. The line that's left after that will come out with the clipper halfway open. After that, we'll come in with the one guard all the way open and come up another three quarters of an inch. You guys can see the lighting on this video is kind of makes it pretty dark in this area, so you can hardly see the difference. Uh, but we started with a four, so we're coming in with a one open, and you guys can see the guideline left above that. The line beneath that will start with the clipper all the way closed and start to work it out. And then we'll come in with the half guard and take the rest of that line out. This is my first time ever cutting his hair. So you guys can see the half guard is not really taking that line out. We will have to come back eventually with the clipper all the way open and take the rest of that line out. Uh, but we'll do that as we get done with the taper. So now we're gonna come in with the two guard all the way closed. We're gonna flick into the four that we began with. And you can see the only line left is the line between the one open and the two closed. Now the one and a half will be the perfect guard to take that last line out. And then we can polish up the rest of this taper before we move on. Once you establish the fade, you just want to come through, start long and start with each guard, work your way down. If it doesn't get the spot out, you go to the next guard. You guys are going to see I'm kind of jumping around, but I'm just seeing things as this develops that I want to work out. And like I said, this is the first time I've cut his hair, so I don't know its tendencies yet or you know how dark of a line it likes to leave. Everybody's hair is a little bit different. So we're just kind of working through our guards again to clean this up before we do the other side. Now we'll edge this side up. We're gonna give it a nice sharp vertical bar and then we will line up some of the baby hairs up at the top where the weight is laying and kind of give him a nice little corner up there. You guys can see how dark his hair is right here. So we're gonna go ahead and edge this C-cup up slightly. Uh, I was kind of doing a high taper, but you can see it left such a dark edge. Kind of looks like it's supposed to be a C-cup. So I went ahead and lined it up right there. And we'll go around the ear. Like normal guys, we're gonna pivot on our middle finger and let that trimmer do a nice smooth circle around the ear. We're gonna do the same steps on this side. You guys can follow along. Real quick, I just wanna shout my dude out right here. His name is Derek. If you guys go check him out on Instagram, Hitch the Barber. He's just getting started. I'll throw it up on the screen for you guys. 
but he's just getting started. I'm stoked to have him in my shop. Uh, he definitely is willing to learn and wants to take his career seriously, you know, and try to be the best that he can. Uh, so I'm excited to have him in the shop and kind of have somebody new to uh, teach some of this stuff in person. So it's going to be fun. I told him to, you know, take advantage of me, uh, ask me any questions he has. So I'm looking forward to getting him going and seeing, uh, you know, what kind of beast he can turn into. So um, pretty exciting, though, guys. We're up to 10 chairs in my shop. I am looking for a new location right now. To be honest with you guys, it's not going perfect. I haven't heard back yet. Uh, we kind of swung for the fences. We went for a main street, front and center, brand new shopping center. Uh, we just haven't heard back from him yet. So we're still waiting to uh, kind of figure all that out. But we are looking for a new location. We're maxed out. If you guys can see in this video, the chair all the way in the back on the right, that is his station. Uh, it used to be a Coke machine at ATM, but we've moved that around. Uh, and that is chair number 10. We have no room left. So we're looking to keep moving. Guys, you know me. I always got to be moving forward, uh, pushing the boundaries a little bit. So I'm not sure what's going to happen, but I'm going to keep working on it. And I will uh, update you guys as we figure it out. So you guys can see this side is coming together a little bit easier. Like I always say, guys, the first side is kind of the hardest, especially on a new head. Now that I know how his hair operates, I go right to this side and cut it exactly how I want. So uh, now we're just polishing it up. You guys can see it's coming together now. We will finish up this fade and then we will line it up and then we'll move on to the top. And guys, please stay tuned. I got nine videos right now recorded, edited, ready to do voiceovers. And I got some heat coming. I just had some good heads come in. I went ahead and recorded them so I could stay ahead. And let me just tell you guys, I got some crazy stuff coming. So make sure you stay tuned. Make sure you're subscribed if you're new and you have it. Please hit that subscribe button. Turn that bell notification on so you guys get notified every time I drop a video. It's three days a week, guys. Sunday, Tuesday, and Thursday. And you guys can count on it. I don't miss. And I got lots of dope content coming. So real quick, though, we'll touch on this top. I went ahead and sectioned it down the middle. I'm taking it to each side over to the blog graduation that we began with. And what that's gonna do is just balance out this haircut. And basically he can wear this however he wants. He can slick it back, he can wear it messy, he can wear it to either side, and it's not gonna hang over, it's not gonna look disconnected. Uh, so we will take these to each side and make them match the perimeter. And then we'll take it straight up and take the peak off in the middle. And that's what I'm explaining to him right there. So kind of taking teaching moments when I can, when I'm cutting my guy's hair, uh, a lot of the time I will turn them towards the mirror like this and sometimes they'll ask me stuff as I go. Uh, but this is a big tip that really balances out haircuts. I never really understood all that. So uh, just something I'm trying to you know, com communicate to him early on. So now we'll come in, clip her over comb a little bit right here, then even up the top and we will connect it to the back. We're gonna do a slight trim on the back, just a little bit of texture uh, and then we'll style it up and you guys can check it out. guys will see as we pull this up there's going to be a guide from where we took it to the edge and there's going to be a peak in the middle so we are going to point cut this for some texture but i'm looking for my lowest point and i'm trying to cut the rest of the length down to match that uh, basically like we're doing it straight across but we're just going to add texture but it is going to take it all straight across and our new longest point will all be even so it's going to work that on one side then we'll take it across to the other side and clean his fringe up you guys can see just like the top the middle is a little bit longer so we're just going to kind of take it straight across again he's going to wear this messy so we just want to make sure it's pretty balanced and nothing crazy uh, extra hanging over or anything like that so now you guys are going to see i'm going to connect this to the back i'm going to continue my top guideline and i'm going to take it square out the back so i'm not going to follow the round of his head we're going to take it square so you guys can see i'm going to pull that up and connect that to the top and then we'll make all the back the same length and kind of add some texture in there We're taking it down to about four inches, just taking off a nice solid trim. Uh, he just said he wanted it cleaned up. He likes the length in the back. 
and obviously it's been lightened and the ends of his hair are a little bit damaged. So we're just gonna try to clean those up and give him a nice fresh start, but not take too much off. Now we're gonna go ahead and blow dry it. So I'm gonna blow dry it all kind of towards this side, like a slick back. We will part it on the other side and bring it all over to his right. And then I'm just gonna get the back kind of messy and styled up and out so I can get some texture back there. You guys will see it's gonna kind of be like a, almost like a Dragon Ball Z haircut at the end. So I'm just gonna blow dry it into the style. We'll add some product and you guys can see the end result. All right guys, so there's a before. He was definitely due for a cut. We about got that blonde out of there, but you can see it's way overgrown. He kind of let me do whatever I wanted as long as we kept the mullet. Uh, so I just gave him something that looked like what he was already rocking. So there's your finished product. Hope you guys enjoy it. Hit that thumbs up if you like it. I'm kind of digging this style with the texture in the back. Guys, make sure you hit that subscribe button and uh, stay tuned because I got lots more content coming like I said. But anyway, I appreciate you guys watching and I'll catch you next time.